Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and WWDC 22 was today, where we heard about iOS 16 and iPadOS 16, and while Apple didn't talk about the devices supported, thanks to the beta dropping, we do already know which ones are going to be able to run it. First off, with iOS 16, the minimum devices are the iPhone SE second generation, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, iPhone 10. Yeah, that's it. So the iPhone 7 has been dropped support for, along with the first iPhone SE and iPhone 6S. And we're also lacking the iPod Touch 7. This is big. We'll come back to it. Going over to iPad OS 16, which is just iOS 16 for iPad. The minimum devices is the first generation iPad Pro, fifth generation iPad, third gen iPad Air, fifth generation iPad Mini. I believe those are the oldest devices supported. So what did we lose out on with iPads? And then we'll come back to iOS. Looking at the latest beta for iOS 15, we can see we no longer have the iPad Air 2 and the iPad Mini 4. And it looks to me like that's all we're losing out on. So really, not too much. Those devices were both quite old at this point and had the A8 chipset. The Air 2 had the A8X, but the iPad Mini 4, I believe just had the A8. iPad Air 2 got eight years of support, which is just insane. It came out in late 2014. So all in all, no surprises on that end. But going back to iOS, there's definitely a little bit of a surprise with the iPhone 7. So for one thing, iPod is literally dead. It doesn't even have iOS support anymore. And the iPod Touch 7 being discontinued just recently did kind of hint that the iPhone 7 might not get the newest version of iOS. Personally, I didn't believe it. I actually thought it would get this version of iOS. I thought maybe the iPod 7 wouldn't, but they both didn't. So I'm a bit taken aback by that. Now, of course, the iPhone 6S and the SE, they both have the A9 chipset. They came out in late 2015, early 2016. So no surprise for those being ended. They both had a very long life. The iPhone 6S is the longest supported iPhone of all time, and it remains that way, at least for now. The iPhone 7 came out in late 2016 and had the A10 chipset. Honestly, I thought that would be enough for it to run iOS 16. Clearly, I was wrong. And who knows, maybe they could run it if Apple really wanted it to, but they've ended support. Perhaps it would have been really slow with all the new changes with the lock screen and the more dynamic nature of everything. It's really difficult to say. I don't think the iPhone 7 is at all slow on iOS 15, but then again, I don't really think the success is either. But what's interesting is this has happened before. Going back to 2019, when the iPod Touch 6 was abruptly replaced with the seventh generation, right after that, we got iOS 13, which dropped support for both the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 at the same time. The iPhone 6 had the A8 chipset, same as the iPod Touch 6, although of course, iPod chipsets are underclocked. And also similar to last time, there are iPads with the same chipset that are still supported. And it's actually weirder in this case, because as far as I can tell, every A9 iPad is still going to be running iPad OS 16. The A9 chipset, that's in the iPhone 6S. It's tough to say exactly why this is. The iPad Pro from 2015 might be old, but it does have the A9X chip, so that's a bit of a step up. But the iPad 5 came out in 2017. It was the first budget iPad, and it just uses the A9. But it was 2017, which makes it only about five years old now. So maybe that's why, who knows? Definitely let me know your theories, especially if I miss something. Keep in mind, the iPhone 7 has still had a very long life. And just because Apple is ending support here doesn't mean they're screwing anyone over. It's still been six years, but that is support as of right now. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I've got some more videos planned concerning the iPhone 7, 6S, SE, all the phones really. So hopefully those will be out soon enough. But for now, thanks for watching. I did a summation of WWDC if you want to watch it. It's everything in just under two minutes. So with that, I'm Josh from 91 Tech and I will see you all next time.